Hello all and welcome to today's Sefer portion. Today we're going to be reading Shemal, Exodus 9 and 10. Then Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohim of the Ivan, Let my left of Eth people go, that they may serve me. Alright, so I heard that Olaf Tov Eth means that the next word is important. Okay. For if you refuse to let them go, and will hold them still, behold, the hand of Yahuwah is upon your cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, and upon the asses, and upon the camel, and upon the oxen, and upon the sheep. There shall be a very grievous pestilence, and Yahuwah shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Mitzrayim. And there shall nothing die of all that is in the children of Israel. And Yahuwah appointed a set time tomorrow, saying tomorrow, Yahuwah shall do this thing in the land. And Yahuwah did a left off that thing in the morning. And all the cattle of the Mitzrayim died, but of the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. And Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of Israel dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the left of the people go. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, and unto El Aaron, Take to you handfuls of ash, handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moshe sprinkle it toward the heavens in the sight of Pharaoh. And it shall become small dust in all the land of Mitzrayim, and shall be a boil breaking forth, which blains upon man and upon beast throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And they took ashes of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses sprinkled it upwards towards the heaven, and it became a boil breaking forth with, pla with blains. Upon man and upon beast, the magicians could not stand before Moshe because of the boils, for the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Mitzrayim. And you will harden the left of Eth, the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them as Yahuwah had spoken unto El Moshe. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohim of thy being, Let left of Eth my people go, that they may serve me. For I will at this time send the left of Eth all my plagues upon your heart, and upon your servants, upon your people, that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth, for now I will stretch out the left of my hand, that I may smite you le left of and your people with pestilence, and you shall be cut off from the earth, and in every deed for this cause have I raised you up, for to show in you my a left of it power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the land, and yet exalt you yourself against my people, that you will not let them go. Behold, tomorrow about this time I will cause it to rain a various grievous, a very grievous hail, such as not been in Mitzrayim since the foundation thereof, even until now. Send therefore now and gather a left of your cattle and a left of all that you have in the field. For upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field and shall not be brought home, the hail shall come down upon them and they shall die. He that feared the Aleph Taveth word of Yahuwah among Aleph Taveth, the servants of Pharaoh, made his servants in Aleph Taveth his cattle flee into, into the houses. And he that regarded not the word of Yahuwah left the left of Eth his servants, and the left of Eth his cattle in the field. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Stretch forth the left of Eth your hand toward the heavens, that there may be hail in all the land of Mitzrayim, upon man and upon beast, and upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Mitzrayim. And Moses stretched forth the left of Eth his rod toward the heavens, and Yahuwah sent thunder and hail and fire ran. And the fire ran along upon the ground, and Yahuwah rained hail upon the land of the Mishraim. 
So there was hail and fire mingled with hail, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Mishraim since it became a nation. And the hail smote throughout all the land of Mishraim, I left off all that was in the field, both man and beast, and the hail smote, I left off at every herb of the field, and broke all left off at every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was was there no hail. And Pharaoh sent and called for Moshe and Aaron and said unto them, I have sinned this time, Yahuwah is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Entreat El Yahuwah, for it is enough, that there be no more mighty thunderings in the hail. And I will let you go, and ye shall stay no longer. And Moshe said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad a left of it, my hands unto Elu, sorry, El Yahuwah. And the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail, that you may know how the earth is, Yahuwah's. But as for you and your servants, I know that ye will not yet fear Yahuwah Elohim. And the flax and the barley was smitten, for the barley was in the ear, and the flax was bold. But the wheat and the rye were not smitten, for they were not grown up. And Moshe went out of Olaf Tov at the city from Pharaoh, and spread abroad his hands into El Yahuwah. And the thunders and the hail ceased, and the rain was not poured upon the earth. And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more, and hardened his heart. He and his servants, and the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, neither would he let a left of the children of Israel go, as Yahuwah had spoken by Moshe. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened a left of his heart, and a left of the heart of his servants, that I might show these my signs before him. And that you may tell in the ears of your son and your son's son, Olive Tov, what things I have wrought in which I am, and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know that I am Yahuwah. And Moshe and Aaron came upon Pharaoh and said unto him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohim of the ivory, How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else, if you refuse to let my Aleph Tav people go, behold, tomorrow I will bring the locusts into your coast, and they shall cover Aleph Tav the face of the earth. And one cannot be able to see Aleph Tav at the, peop the earth, and they shall eat Aleph Tav at the rem remnants of which is escaped, which remain unto you from the hill, and shall eat every tree which grows for you out of the field, and they shall fill your houses, and the houses of all your servants, and the houses of the Mitzrayim, which neither your fathers nor your fathers' fathers have seen since the days that they were upon the earth until this day. And he turned himself and went out from Pharaoh, and Pharaoh's servants said unto him, How long shall this man be a snare unto us? Let Olaf Tov at the, the men go, that they may serve Olaf Tov Yahuwah Elohim. Sorry, Elo. Yeah, Haim. Know you not yet the Mish the Mishraim is destroyed, and Olaf Tov at Moshi and Olaf Tov at Heron were brought again unto Pharaoh, and he said unto them, Go serve. Olive top et Yehuelo Haikin. But who are they that shall go? And Moshe said, We will go with our young and with our old, and with our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds. We will go. Sorry, will we go? For we must hold a feast unto Yehuah. And he said unto them, Let Yehuah be so with you as I let you go. And Olive top. It, your little ones, look to it, for evil is before you. Not so. Go now, ye that are men, and serve Olive Tov et Yahuwah, that ye did desire. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence, and Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Stretch out your hand over the land, 
of the Mishraim for locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Mishraim and eat all of every herb of the land and all of it, even all that the hill has left. And Moshe stretched forth all of it, his rod over the land of Mishraim. And you are brought an east wind upon the land all that day and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. And locusts went up over all the land of the Mishraim. And rested in the coasts of Mishraim, very grievous were they. Before them there were no such locusts as they, neither after them such, sorry, shall be such. For they covered all of top at the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened, and they did eat all of top at every herb of the land, and all of top at all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left. And there remained not any green thing in the trees or in the herbs of the fields. Throughout all the land of the Mitzrayim, then Pharaoh called for Moshe and Aaron in haste, and he said, I have sinned against Yehua Elohim. And against you, now therefore forgive me, I pray you, my sin only this once, and entreat Yahuwah Elohim, that he may take away from me all of Tav at this death only. And he went out from Pharaoh, and entreated Yahuwah, and Yahuwah turned a mighty strong west wind, which took away all of Tav at the locusts, and cast them into the Red Sea. There remained not one in all the coasts of the Mishraim. But you will harden Aleph Tav at Pharaoh's heart, so that he would not Aleph, sorry, so that he would not let Aleph Tav at the children of Yisrael go. And you have said unto Moshe, Stretch out your hand toward the heavens, that there may be darkness over the land of the Mishraim, even darkness which may be felt. And Moshe stretched forth Aleph Tav at his hand toward the heavens, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of the Mishraim. Three days. They saw not all of top at one another, neither rose away from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. And Pharaoh called unto Moshe and said, Go ye, serve all of top at Yahuwah, only let your flocks and herds be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. And Moshe said, You must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings, that we might sacrifice unto Yahuwah Elohainu. Our cattle also shall go with us, there shall not be a, ho a hoof left behind, for therefore, thereof must we take to serve. Allah top et Yahuwah Elohainu. And we know not with what we must serve Allah top et Yahuwah until we come thither. And Yahuwah hardened Allah top et Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said unto them, Get you from me. Take heed to yourself, see my face no more, for in that day you see my face, shall you, you shall die. And Moshe said, You have spoken well, I will see your face again no more. Well, that's today's read. Until next time, I hope you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.